Welcome to the video tutorial for the Visual Roadway Design Tool. The Roadway Design Tool performs calculations to find optimal pole spacing that achieves the criteria specified. Roadway calculations are done using specific procedures and are not like most other lighting calculations. It is because of this that roadway calculations cannot be performed within the main visual program at this time. Luminaires are added by clicking the New Tab button at the bottom of the page. Once an IIS file has been loaded, the information for that luminaire is displayed at the bottom of the page. Here you can set the luminaire's configuration, light loss factor, support length, and tilt. To the left of the roadway image is the main data entry area. It's divided into three panes, roadway, placement, and criteria. Let's take a closer look at the settings in the roadway pane. The first step is to select the units you will use and the precision of the displayed calculation points you will calculate. Next, you can set your calculation standard. In most of North America, you will use ISNA RP8. You may also select the BSEN 13201 standard. Changing your calculation standard changes some input and output of the roadway tool. In this tutorial, we will assume that you'll be using RP8. Road surface is selected via the dropdown. This changes the reflectance of the roadway. Type R3 is the most common road surface in North America. The class dropdown is used to select what IES classification your roadway falls under. The criteria recommended later in the tool are based on this selection. Similarly, the pedestrian conflict level affects the recommended light levels. Using the median dropdown, you can adjust whether your roadway has no median, a median, or a center turn lane. If you select turn lane, the center lane will be calculated in both directions of travel. Lane quantity and width are set via these text boxes. If you want to look at only one direction of travel, set either the left or the right lane quantity to zero. Under sidewalk and bike lane, you can set widths and setbacks of these pedestrian areas for each side. These areas are calculated after the roadway has been optimized and pole spacing determined. Next, let's look at the placement pane. Here you can select what luminaire, if any, will be used at a position. At left and right positions, you can also select the setback from the roadway, while median poles are automatically centered in the median. If there is no median, the median selection will be read-only or grayed out. Once a luminaire type is selected, it will be displayed along the roadway with a translucent web that represents the candela distribution at the peak output angle. If you know what pole spacing you would like to use, you can indicate the pole spacing for each location in the spacing field. Typically, you will leave these fields blank and allow the calculation to recommend a pole spacing for you. With your position set, we can move on to the criteria pane. You can choose to enter your own luminance and or illuminance criteria, or you can have recommendations automatically filled in based on your roadway class selection. Typically, when using RP8, you should select luminance recommendations. The calculation is automatically performed now that there is enough information in your design. You can toggle the auto calculate feature by clicking the auto calculate checkbox. With Auto Calculate off, you will need to press the displayed Calculate button to calculate your design. You can also enter a luminaire spacing here to calculate specific pole spacings. The roadway length field is used in conjunction with the pole spacings to determine the quantity of poles along the roadway length. Calculation results are displayed on the right. By default, luminance calc points are displayed in the roadway image. You can change this by selecting one of the other calculated values in the display dropdown. The criteria for the current calculation are displayed next to the results to make it easier to identify the limiting criteria. For RP8, the valine luminance ratio is typically the limiting criteria. You can print your results by selecting File Print from the toolbar. This loads your design information into a two-page printer-friendly format. From here, you can print a PDF or a printer from your browser. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have comments or questions, send them to support at visual-3d.com.